Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and this will be day two or night two of our Halloween ex making extravaganza marathon uh, themed week. I do apologize for not having a video out yesterday, but when you hear why, you will understand. So um, before I tell you that story, let me just tell you what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using this candy corn pendant by Amy Lab, uh, last name spelled L-A-B-B-E. She used to sell these pieces in Michael's years ago. I did find her website, which I'll put in my uh, description, but um, these were pretty expensive at Michael's, but now if you notice, uh, they, she's her stuff's on eBay, uh, a bunch of different places, Mercari, and they're frightfully expensive. So if you have any of these, I'd hang on to them because they're collector items. This in particular is going to stay in my collection. Um, I might sell some of the other pieces in my Etsy shop with a necklace, but I haven't really decided yet because when I checked her website out, very expensive. Uh, but I will put her link so you can see all her cute stuff I mean, it's beautiful stuff, but I, I just can't really justify the price. Um, I would like to learn how to make my own, you know, with resin. I think I asked in the last video if anybody's using resin, uh, because this would be easy to do, um, make your own or cut out something and put it in a bezel and use some of that resin, which is pretty much probably what happened here, but this is super cute. So we're going to make this our focal, uh, for those of you who did not watch the first video, we made some candy corn themed or inspired earrings. And I did make the mates off camera. So here are these little sparkly wonders. And then we also made, you know, not using the same uh, order that the colors are in necessarily. We did on those sparkly beads, but just kind of changed it up. We did some really pretty crystal and glass and then uh, kind of more of a fall theme we did some really cute owls oops some owls and you know bead caps and just the white the orange and the yellow pretty much that you find in candy corn so we're gonna work on this today as you can see I've pulled a bunch of beads I did it I'm adding black today uh, because of course, the writing on the pendant has some black, so we're gonna use black as an accent, but we're pretty much gonna stick with the candy corn uh, colors on the necklace. I haven't decided what order or any of that. I just pulled a bunch of, you know, different beads out of my stash to see what would look cute. And I think I'm gonna color block these. And then um, in between the color blocking, maybe we'll put something like a little black bead in between the colors. Um, so, uh, just to let you know, uh, last night we had a family emergency. We, um, well, my mom went out to get the mail and I was getting ready to make my video, believe it or not. And then I heard banging on the door and I went to the door. So I thought she locked herself out or something. And when I looked out the door, uh, my heart ended up in my stomach because there were three people around my mom and my mom was face down on the pavement. So she fell, very scary. Um, fortunately, we have nice neighbors. We had people coming from all over the place asking us, you know, what happened and they sent called 911. And the next thing we know, there's two big fire trucks and about eight fire firefighters. <laughs> um, later on, I remembered that they were cute, but at the time, uh, that was not my concern, so, but they got mom to the hospital. I got, you know, I drove to the hospital and waited, and um, fortunately, she has nothing broken, which was their fear. She didn't break anything. She didn't have any hemorrhaging. Thank goodness. So, all of you that sent prayers, I appreciate it so much, and, you know, the delay in the video obviously couldn't be avoided um, for very good reasons. I mean, yeah, got to take care of the mama, you know? Um, so she's home. She's sore. 
She has a little scrape on her nose and on her forehead. Uh, and her shoulder is bothering her. But, you know, um, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm just thankful that there are people that were willing to help. And that, she, that we got her to the hospital and nothing, nothing too bad other than she's going to be sore for a few days. So, whew, thank you for those prayers. So, on to the necklace. We are also going to use... Um, Softflex black onyx color. This is perfect for Halloween. I love uh, Softflex. If you're new to my channel, I use this a lot. And um, like I said, we're just going to color block. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this little bale here because uh, the jump ring that's on here, I don't want it to slide through the Softflex. So I'm just going to add this bale so that uh, it's a little more secure. So let me do that right now. And yeah, we've had a crazy week. Um, we didn't have air last week um, and it was really hot. My, <laughs> This is a funny story. My mom went to get her car inspected. This was last week and uh oh. Oh, here we go. I didn't think that bale was going to fit. Um, they didn't inspect her car. And you ready for the reason why? Her blinker was blinking too fast. Can you believe that? So they wouldn't, they wouldn't pass her and they wouldn't give her her money back. So a friend of ours said, oh, well, we know a place that, you know, we can take it to. Because that's ridiculous. Your blinker's working. I mean, who cares if it's blinking fast as long as it's working? Goodness. So, um, she went to that place and they passed her, but then she went back to the other place to get her money back and they won't give her her money back. Yeah. So we're not happy with that. Then, uh, well into the heat, we lost our ice maker. <laughs> and yesterday, uh, or earlier today, we had someone come out to maintain the air conditioning unit and there's all types of things wrong. There's a leak. They added coolant last week and it was glorious for about a few days and then it started getting hotter. It's not looking too good for the air conditioner. So, and then of course mom had the fall. So, you know, I think we we need to win the lottery now. Uh, we've had enough bad things happen. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if any of you win and you want to share, hey, I'm not proud. <laughs> anyway, it's just life though, isn't it? So anyway, this weekend's supposed to be cooler, thank goodness. Uh, 50s in the morning and 70 tomorrow, so without air, if with the windows open, we should be fine. That's the silver lining. All right, so I'm going to pull, I don't know how much, I think I would like to make this necklace. I like to wear long necklaces, and since I'm probably going to make this for myself, I'm going to make this pretty long. So... Yeah, I was really shocked when I saw how much these are now. Um, she's very talented, uh, Amy Lab, but wow, those prices were something else. Uh, I think she got so successful maybe with the exposure from Michaels, she branched out on her own, which, hey, good for her, you know? Um, it looks like she might have classes too, I don't know, but you can check it out on her website when I post it. Okay, so I kind of want to go in the order of the pendant. So yellows, orange, and then white. And do some black in between, which I think would be super cute. So I think I'm just going to start with, and I'm going to do different shapes too. So there will be some variety. I pulled a bunch of my check, check beads. Um, I love these milky white ones. They're really pretty. Oh, and I did pull out some, uh, some of these bead caps I thought were kind of spiky and kind of looked like a sea urchin, but they looked kind of Halloween-y to me. So we're going to use those also. Oh, and stay tuned at the end of this video because I have a really cute video of Ginger. She's next to me all the time and she was just too cute 
Too cute. Now these would make cute earrings. I think I'm gonna pull these, pull these to the side. So yeah, jewelry, uh, Halloween making marathon. Fun stuff. And uh, maybe I have more of these. Be cool to do three if I have them. I get a lot of bead mixes, so it's kind of hit or miss. Um, I think I got this bead mix. At one time, uh, Bargain Bead Box had bead mixes for check beads. I don't know if they have that anymore. I haven't looked in a while. So I don't have, I guess I'll do smaller ones. Mm. No, let's do, let's do two round ones. Yeah, so we're just gonna do some white. I might put a spacer bead, a silver spacer bead or a rondelle in between some of these two, just so there's some extra sparkle. Thank you for all the comments on the earrings. I'm glad you liked them. They were really fun to make um, and not hard at all. I mean, you just pull out your, you know, those colors and just any combination you can come up with, I think it can say Halloween, but not be so in your face Halloween, if you know what I mean. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I will not, I will stop there. <laughs> I don't think I want to do clear quite yet. I really like this bead, but I don't see another one. But I like that shape. Oh, I got heart shapes, but I don't think I have another one of those. That would be kind of cute. Kind of cute. Oh. Yeah, that's the bummer with the mixes. Now, these little discs are cute. That could make, that would make a nice texture. Let's do a bunch of those. I have a lot of those. I realize this this mat I'm working on is white. Let me push this up. Sorry about that. Um, one of my lights busted tonight, so. <laughs> In keeping with the theme of the week, the last week we've had, yeah, right before the video. It's a good thing I have a good sense of humor. That saves me a lot. The fact, I think the ability you can laugh at laugh at stuff kind of keeps you sane okay I'm gonna be so excited at 50 degrees tomorrow I don't know what to tell you I am gonna open some windows in the morning It was funny, um, my mom was showing my video for the, with the earrings to a friend of ours husband, and he used to do electronic work. And she came home and said, wow, he really was fascinated with your wire wrapping. <laughs> he wished, you know, dealing with wires in his old job, he said, man, I wish I knew that technique, you know, the, the loops and, and the wrap loops. He was like, I could have used that. It's nothing I ever thought about that, you know, an electrician might be interested. Bead, bead making for electricians. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess some skills do cross over. I think that's a cool thing, though. All right. I think I'm gonna do just a few more. I kinda wanna go up to like here with the white. So let's do some round. And I think I'll use the bead caps on the round beads. I think they need a little extra something something. Oh, and thanks for the compliments on the nails. These are supposed to be glow in the dark. I haven't really noticed them glowing. But um, I ordered them from Dashing Diva. I'll put that in the 
description there you can get two sets and they're usually like around eight dollars but they have uh, specials and stuff all the time and they have you just stick them on your nail and then use a file to you know cut it and shape it it's really easy and they last for like two weeks I'm not kidding it's pretty amazing so cheaper than the nail salon uh, and I'm just a mess when I try to paint my own nails so this way you don't have the smudges and the the fumes and the you know if the fumes bother you there's no fumes with these and this is not a paid advertisement. I sincerely love them. I wouldn't mind doing a paid advertisement for them, but I, would, I wouldn't mind if they sponsored one of my videos. Because I like for my nails to look cute when I'm showing you how to make stuff. Because that just kind of adds a little more fun to the video, I think. So when you see my nails, they're not an accident. <laughs> I thought about it. I planned it. And I have three different kinds of Halloween uh, themed nail coverings. So throughout the month, you're going to see all of them. So stay tuned for that. I think uh, there's one other pair that's uh, supposedly uh, glow in the dark. But like I said, I didn't really notice. I suppose if you were somewhere where there was a black light, like if you go through... A haunted house or something with these on I bet they would glow especially with the blue light okay so we've got our white I love it and I think so we're gonna transition with some black and I think it'd be nice to put a sparkly sparkly one it kind of echoes the earrings we made oh that's red <laughs> That one's red, it's like a dark red. Okay, that one's black. Man, that one, it's like a, a very dark garnet color. Really looked black to me when I was picking these out. All right. Okay, so let's go into our orange. Let's see. Let's echo the round. I hope I have enough bead caps. Ooh, oops. We may have to get creative. So the first one's gonna have bead caps and then maybe we'll do something different. We don't have to make them all the same. In fact, that I think I mentioned before, one of the classes that we took through Jesse James Beads, um, Jill McKay was telling us if you change it up a little, that adds more visual interest. So, you know, if you run out of something in your stringing, change it up a little because it will keep uh, the eye looking at your piece interested. Your brain kind of goes, oh, wait, that's a little different. Let me look at that which um, is pretty cool. And it doesn't it actually make sense to me because I was watching a, a documentary one time on what makes people laugh. And um, basically the scientific explanation for that is that um, like, you know, if, if your brain is surprised, you laugh. So in other words, an example would be like if, when someone tells you a joke and you've heard it before, you're just like, I'm gonna use some rhinestone ones here. So we have some sparkle if I can find another one. There we go. Um, so if you can figure out the punchline or you've heard the joke before, you don't really laugh that hard. And if you think you know the punchline, you know, you're thinking in your head, oh, I know where this is going, but you get surprised, it takes you in a whole another direction you will laugh because your brain did not did not figure it out and it surprised your brain. So it's kind of like that, I think. I thought that was a cool uh, explanation. I'm gonna add some of these. 
next. I thought that was really cool. So when you're looking at something and your brain, you know, there's a pattern, your brain says, oh, there's the pattern, you know, it starts recognizing the pattern, but if you change it up a bit, it trips up your brain and it surprises it. And you're like, oh, and your brain's like, oh, wait a minute. Let me take another look at that. That's very interesting. So what she said made a lot of sense to me. All right, I'm gonna add some pearls. Yeah, that study was very interesting. They also put actors uh, in a waiting room at a doctor's office and the person pretended to be reading something really funny. And they were their point was that laughter is contagious. And so he starts cracking up, um, you know, make-believe cracking up, but everybody in the waiting room couldn't help but smile. Which, you know, if you've heard somebody laughing at something really hard, you grin and you can't help it. I thought that was super cool and something I never thought of. I think we're gonna stay opaque with these. Yeah, so that was a very interesting study. I wish I could remember where I saw that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go back to some smaller beads. I'm kind of making an undulating. So I have little beads, uh, big beads, big beads, and I'm going to go to little beads now. Let's see what we have. A couple of these guys. These are fun. They're kind of offset. I like those. Let's use some of those. I've not used these before, but they look... Again, these are like some check beads I had laying around. I've decided to keep a Halloween drawer in my stash. Uh, but I don't want to put all my orange. I just want to put some orange, you know, uh, and then I put just things that looked very Halloween-y to me. So let's do, I think I'll do three of these. All right. I do have a funny story about a little boy in a dentist office, but I'll share that with you another time. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's hilarious. Uh, a lady that I used to work with, uh, may her soul rest in peace because she's no longer with us. Uh, her name was Jean. We called her Miss Jean. And we would have lunch with her and she would tell us these tales uh, that her aunt would tell her. And I have to tell you, we would be rolling. We would be laughing so hard. She was a funny lady. I really do miss her. All right. So I'm going to do... Actually, I think I'm going to stop there. And let's do another black bead, but let's do something different. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, look at these little hearts. Those are cute. You know, I like hearts. If you don't, if you're new, I like hearts. <laughs> so I think we'll do small beads and then work our way back up to, not big beads, because I don't want big beads by my neck harder to take the clasp on and off, but let's see. Let's grab some more sparkles. Oh, let's do a, I'm gonna do a silver saucer bead. I like the texture of these little saucer beads. I love how these sparkle. Okay, now we're going to go into the yellow. So let's see. If 
three of those. These are very softly faceted. I love the bright yellow. I used to not be a fan of yellow, but it's really, it is really growing on me. It was a couple years ago, I think Pantone had the gray and the um, yellow. That was their colors of the season, and so everything was that color. So if you didn't like it, you were, you were kind of in trouble. But it grew on me. I don't think I have any more uh, silver spacers. Let's see. I do want a few more. Yeah, that's a familiar sound in here. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> it's okay, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger looks very concerned. <laughs> let's see, let's do some little bumpy, some little bumpies. Hello, bumpy beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we're gonna need this many, but I might get a wild hair and use all of them. Who knows? <laughs> all right. Silver bumpy bead. Silver bumpy bead. Oops, wrong string. Pay attention, Marcy. <laughs> Oh goodness. Yeah. I cracked up at Ginger. I had to, I'm going to have to share that at the end of the video because she was too cute and too funny. All right, let's see. So continuing with our yellow, let's do some round. These are also really nice, bright yellow. I think it's kind of fun to have a bright color up on the top because that'll that'll pop and make people look. Ah, here we go. Thought, uh oh, do I have another round one? I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. I didn't really count them. Okay. Oh, there we go again. Okay, let's do some yellow sparklies. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do some smaller beads now. I've got some bicones here. Actually, let me do some hishi, that would be fun. Kind of, uh, Echoing what we did down here, but a little different. Again, surprising the brain with something a little different. I think that's why you, when you see something that's so interesting or you like, there's a lot of reasons why you're gonna like it or why it's visually pleasing. So that really, that comment that um, Ms. McKay made really made a lot of sense to me. Who knew you could use science to make jewelry? But, but you can. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I think I, I think I have enough. Some of these are thinner than others, but as long as the stack looks even, I think you're all right. All right, so then we'll do some bicones, and then we're gonna close this puppy up. I think I'm gonna do five of those. And then I have a clasp over here 
It's kind of a S-hook type clasp. I haven't used one of those in a while. And of course, one of the things I like about soft legs is if you see the string, you know, it coordinates. Like you can see it down here with these, these guys. I love how they're offset. That's kind of cool. Okay, five of these. I can't wait to show you some of these other beads that I've got we're going to be using during the week. Going to be fun. And I will be introducing um, more color. Uh, I know that green and purple are now frequently in Halloween things, so we're going to be adding those colors, I think, in the next video, actually. Okay. Uh-oh. Ginger, what's wrong? What's wrong, honey? Are you okay? Can you go night-night? My dog's crying. I don't know why. Are you lonely? Mama's almost done, okay? Okay. I don't know what's going on with her. Okay, better wrap this up. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use a crimp bead. Okay, honey. Oh, boy. Let me go. I'll be right back. Oh, boy. Furry children. I don't know what's going on with her. She was... She only does that when her tummy's upset, and I... <laughs> oh, jeez. I think she's feeling better now. Shh, 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 shh. Honey, there's, there's nobody there. Ginger, there's nobody there. It's the TV. She thinks somebody's here. Oh, boy. <laughs> My mom's intervening. I already let her out. <laughs> Maybe she hears somebody. I don't know. She's got better ears than we do. So that was an Amazon drop off. Jeez. <laughs> Nobody's going to sneak up on this house. Let me tell you. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't even hear him. And we're near the front door, but she heard him. And, uh, anyway, I bought my mom some new oven mitts that are silicone because the ones we have, she keeps getting burnt. It's like, nope, we're going to get some better ones for you. And, uh, so that's what was at the door. And we have a very protective dog. <laughs> she's little, but she's loud, as you've heard. So I went ahead and did this side with the S-hook or... I don't know what they call I call it an S hook. Uh, and then the little ring that it goes in takes a little finagling, as Brittany Chavers likes to say. There we go. So here is our candy corn, and I'm going to put some, I'll put some bead covers, uh, crimp covers on these. Anyway, this is our really pretty candy corn necklace. Isn't that fun? Just color blocking, it's real simple. You know, simple, but a little bit of variety. And let me just swoop it this way. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. Oh, and I didn't even realize, but there's this little guy. And so just our little rondelles here kind of pick up that sparkle, which is fun. Let me lift this up so you can see it a little better. Kind of, uh oh, I was tilting this so you could kind of see the candy corn rocks a little and all the sparkly stuff. Let me just move it around. Fun, huh? 
So I think any one of these earrings would look really cute with our necklace. And uh, a, a memory wire bracelet with the color blocking would be adorable. I think, I think that might be a project in the future on this channel for our Halloween marathon. Thank you for joining me tonight and listening to all my stories and all the drama and all the barking. Stay tuned at the end of this video for a really cute video of Ginger where she's not barking. <laughs> and uh, I will see you tomorrow for night three or day three of our Halloween marathon. Have a great night. Take care of your sweet selves and your families. Be safe. Please be safe. And I will see you on the next video. Here's Ginger snoozing. Oh, she heard me talking. She snoozes in my office when I'm working. I'm still working in my day job today. And she's my little buddy. Chacha stays in the living room on the couch. But Ginger's got to be where I where she can see me. Hi, huh, Ginger. You hear your name? Are you comfortable? Are you enjoying your bed? Aw. You say hi to everybody? Yeah. Is you taking a little nap? Are you my little protector? Anytime there's anybody near the door, this one, who is tiny, is so loud. Oh my goodness. And I'm surprised she's not howling right now because all the kids are coming home from school and um, the crossing guard as soon as they start their whistle she's usually freaking out because um, the kids are getting out of school it's the afternoon anyway I thought you might enjoy seeing one of the cute furry girls the other one's in the living room so I'm gonna leave her be but uh, maybe I'll catch her on camera another time for you on one of my next videos Bye, Ginger. Tell everybody bye. You gonna tell everybody bye? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna snooze, Mama. Oh, okay, honey. <laughs>